All right, everyone. Hello again. Back here with this transmission. You probably, if you subscribe to my channel, unless you're just clicking on this, um, you pro you should go watch my video on how to get this oil pump out for starters because I'm not going to go over it in this video very much. You just kind of put a vice grip. I'm not even going to watch the video. It's in the description. Um, get the oil pump off. I'm going to start tearing this down. I th I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going through it and explaining how uh, the differences between a Turbo 250 and a Turbo 350 are as I'm doing it. Um, you know, light explanations. I'm not going super in depth. This isn't transmission theory. This is a YouTube video. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm thinking, is I'm going to take up take apart half of it. And there's a snap ring that's really difficult to to get out right on the on the third gear clutch pack. So instead of sitting there messing with it for a half hour uh, with my camera on pause, I'm just going to end the video and then take it off, and then I'll start recording again and take the bottom half apart. But uh, Anyway, first things first, get the oil pump out. Once that's done, you can just grab onto it here. It's free. Come on now, buddy. It's just a minute. Now I gotta put camera down again. All right, there we go. Then things are kind of heavy to lift up with one hand. This ring, you'll see it came off, and this is actually part of a bearing. It goes up on, on the shaft there for the, for the oil pump. Goes up in there like that. Here's the bearing. Just a roller bearing. This one doesn't actually look all that bad. Just goes like that. And this goes on top of it just like that. And it goes up on there like that. So that's it's a bearing. Alright, so first things first that you'll notice differently if you've taken apart a 200 or taken apart a uh, 350 or you've uh, watched a video on a 350 is right here. This drum here. There is no sprag assembly that goes on the back of this. You'd normally put your third gear clutch pack here. This is a 250. They don't have third gear clutch packs. That's a really o the only difference uh, between a 250 and a 350 is the internals. The second gear uh, assembly is a drum and uh, and band assembly instead of a, a clutch a clutch and uh, a piston clutch and piston assembly that is on 350. Um, so you'll notice on the back of your pump here, there's no uh, no piston. There's supposed to be a piston. It sits right here in the back of it that would push back uh, and activate your third gear clutch or th second gear clutch, but this one doesn't have it because it's a 250, so you'll notice that when you pull it out. The other thing you notice is that with the 250, there's nothing you can put here. It's just flat, which uh, makes up for a lot of a heartache, actually, because trying to take out that clutch or trying to put that clutch pack back in when you're reassembling it is a real son of a bitch on these 350s, um, but this one's not like that. So... What you will notice is that you're not going to be able to get this, this thing out. It's stuck in there. That's because the band is holding it on. And the band, I don't know if you can see that, right there. That's, that's the band anchor right there. And that's the, uh, the band adjustment right, right there. And that's pushing on it. So the two things that you need to know about that is, so this anchor right here is anchored to the servo, which is on your valve body, which is this right here. And you, you're, you're going to notice when you're taking off part your valve body, which I didn't make a video on because it's pretty self-explanatory. You take all the bolts out, you, you drop the valve body. It's, it's sitting right there. Um, you make sure you know where all your check poles are. You take them out, and that's that. But this isn't going to come with it. This is stuck on here. Um, and the reason for that is because this is what's locking that band in there. This is the application apply servo for second gear. Instead of being, instead of being in here as an intermediate servo, like a 200 uh, 4R, the second gear application servo is up here instead. Um, so this is just going to, you know, your valve body tells it what to do and it's going to do what it's going to do. You don't actually move this at all. you got to disengage that band first uh, in order to get this to come out and then it will come right out. But uh, this is how you disengage a band here. This little thing right here is your band adjustment and it's got this nut on it and you t the nut just holds it in place. You take the nut off and then right in there, it might just look like a hole on camera, but that's an Allen key. It's a... I don't know what size it is, but I'll let you know when I get to that point. It's an Allen key, and you stick your Allen in there, and you pull this out, and it is selective um, based on how many turns it was when, it, when it's in there. Um, this one's rusty as hell, so I'm going to be able to tell right away where it was at, but just in case, I'm just going to do a little up close on it right there, so we know, you know where, uh, where it was at. It's about a finger, finger width. Of adjustment on there, but you'll be able to do that when you're putting it back together, and I'll and I'll I'll go over that when I reassemble this. But uh, take the nut off; it's a half inch. Um, take the nut off, and then take your Allen key on there, and uh, 
and, and get that out. And once, once that comes out, then you'll be able to take the band out. So I'll get to that. I'll take this off, off camera here. All right, so I was a little wrong. It was actually a 9 16, not a half inch, but close enough, right? And we were lucky enough here, uh, you know, oddly enough, but also luckily for us, that nut is so rusted onto that bolt that it didn't, didn't come off separate. So when I, when I put this back on, all I got to do is tighten it down to where this nut stayed on the adjustment bolt itself there. But I don't know if the camera will focus on it. There we go. See that? There's a Loctite on it, so it's not going anywhere. But that's what the bolt looks like to get the nut off. Uh, it would just be a straight bolt. You stick your Allen key in there and pull it out. So, you know, that's that's that. But uh, as you can see now, there's nothing in the hole, and the band is 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 free. It's just sitting in there. See that? Can move it. So what you want to do is you want to get a needle nose, and just pull it up on out of there. And it's just like this. Grab it and pull it, and the band would just come right off. You just see that there's a band and this one actually doesn't look that bad um, I was gonna say before I started this video that this transmission doesn't look like it's ever been rebuilt ever uh, because it's got the original valve body gaskets and everything in it but this band looks way too good to be to be uh, original because this is uh, this these things go out 40 50 thousand miles they're not reliable that's why these transmissions were very un unreliable they were very uh, Unused. You know, when these things went out, nobody rebuilt them. They just uh, replaced it with the 350 because it's the same case. But uh, this is interesting because that band don't actually look that terrible. So that's the band. And then once that band's out, then your servo is just going to be loose. You can just you just pull it right out, just like that, and make sure you get the seal. And there's that. And there's your servo. That comes apart too if you want. If you want to take it apart, it's a snap or a C clip right there in the back. Take that apart and you can get into it. I'm not putting a shift kit in this, so I'm not going to take that apart. But uh, that's what that is. This actually isn't a uh, a seal. This is a uh, a wave plate for your shift dampener, so you don't uh, slam into second gear. So that's what that is for. And there's nothing left in there, I don't think. And oh, there's a seal right there on the thing. See that? So you make sure you grab that. That's that's gonna go on the end of your of your shaft here. Just about oops. Just about on the end of it there, just like that. Just goes on the end of it. So I'll set that right there. So now drum's free. You just grab it, shake it free, and pull it right out just like that. And that little thrust washer fell off there, so I'm gonna grab that. Put this down right there. See, this is doing this with one hand is not easy. I really should get a camera man for this kind of stuff. But uh, I don't have one, so what are you going to do, right? Stick that right there for now. Find a better place for it. But all right, see that little guy right down there? This thing right here, that's you know, your shift dampener uh, fluid. It's a selective washer, just like a 200 goes right into there just like that and on the back of this you're gonna find hold on a second alright I had to rearrange rethink my setup a little bit but alright so what I just did is I took this this is the drum right here now you can see where the band was riding on it it's pretty worn out you can feel it with your fingers kinda like a, a warped rotor you get that sort of feeling to it just took this it was upside down Sitting on top of this shaft here, I took it off because that, that, that's where the clutch is going to sit as a race. There's a bearing right here, right there. It's going to sit just like that with the, with the shiny side up. Black, black side's going to be facing down. So that's the bearing. And now underneath this, this guy, right here, that's your, that's your washer right there. That's your separator washer. Right there, that would sit right down here these three uh, teeth we line that up just like that and then on top of that usually there's a bearing in between here and here but this one uh, this one's not like that it doesn't have that but uh, yeah that's what that looks like you got your set your second gear uh, clutch second gear clutch in here third gear clutch on that just put that right there 
just like that. I gotta find a better spot for the oil pump. Get that off of there again. Put it in right there. And then your washer down in there. Take that back out if you want. It, it's just gonna stay in there, but uh, that's gonna go on the end of the end of the shaft up on that you saw in there. This is uh, your spray clutch. You see that moves moves one way, locks the other way. That's just gonna pull on up out of here, just like that. Is a bearing race. There's another uh, four prong washer right there. We'll look at that in a second. And then planetary right here. You pull that up. That's where the snap ring is. There's this troublesome snap ring up down in there. That's what I was talking about. I'm going to get this uh, this off, and I'm going to go back to recording a, a part two of this. But So, yeah, that's that's what we got going on with that. This right here, that's your four, four uh, you know, leg washer, whatever you want to call it. It's going to go in there just like that. Just like that. Snap in there. Just like that, right? So that's what that looks like. Now notice, I just took apart the entire top end of this transmission, second, third gear, you know, your, your input shaft, oil pump, all that stuff in less than, in less than 20 minutes. This video is, it looks like it's going on, going on uh, 13 minutes here. I took that entire thing apart in less than 20 minutes. The 204R uh, that I did last time, took me hours, okay, hours and hours and hours, and I've had to film multiple different videos. This one is is very easy. You could probably, if you had parts ready for this, you could do this transmission job in like, man, you could probably do it in a, in a night if you really wanted to. Putting this back together is gonna be easy too. It's just it's just a walk in the park compared to the metric 200s. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get that, that uh, snap ring off of there, and uh, we'll get to recording that the next uh, piece of this here.